Hi, this is Anil from Learning Glad Education and welcome back to Waza Output video series on C programming language. Now, just like the previous tutorials, you guys can pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and first try to find out whether there are any errors in the program. And if you guys think that there are no errors, then try to find out the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. Alright, now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. And the answer for this program is gonna be no. Alright, now why the heck we're gonna get the output like this? Now, if you look at the source code here, we have this variable a and we have initialized this variable a with a value of 2. And then we have this if statement. And in the condition part, we have used a minus minus comma minus minus a comma a. So here in this condition part, in this expression, we have used this comma operator. So how a comma operator works is it has the least precedence in the precedence table and uh, it has the associativity from left to right, which means that when you have this comma operator, first the leftmost operand will be executed and then it will move towards the rightmost operand. And after executing all the operands, the comma operator is going to return its rightmost operands value. So now here what happens is since we have this comma operators here first the leftmost operands will be executed. So this a minus minus will be executed. A is containing the value of 2. So a minus minus we have the decrement operator in the postfix form here and because of that a variables value will be used here and then it will be decremented. So here 2 will be used and then it will be decremented. So it's going to become 1. A variables value is going to become 1. Here it will be 2. Now this will be executed and here we have minus minus A. We have this decrement operator in the prefix form and that's why it will be decremented first and then it will be used. So A variable is containing the value of 1 it will be decremented by 1 so it's going to become 0 and here 0 will be used and then this will be executed here we just have a so a variables value will be used here a is containing the value of 0 now after executing all these operands of this comma operator this comma operator is going to return its rightmost operands value here the rightmost operands value is 0 this 0 and in C, all of you know that 0 is considered as false and a non-zero value is considered as true. So this expression is going to be evaluated to 0 which means false. So the else block will be executed and this printf function with no is executed and we're going to get no as the output. So this is it guys about this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have learned something from this and I'll see you in the next tutorial.